the Patrick administration announced their revenue estimates for next year. 22 News State House reporter Christine Lee is live for us in Boston, where she tells us they're collecting more money, but there's not a lot of extra cash. The state's top revenue experts predict higher tax collections and modest economic growth next year. That doesn't mean the state will be able to go on a spending spree anytime soon. Massachusetts Department of Revenue Commissioner Amy Pinner estimates the state will collect about $24 billion in tax revenue in fiscal year 2015. That reflects steady revenue growth of just over $1 billion, or 5%, up from 3% in the current fiscal year. The uh, recovery in the Eurozone economies is still slow. I think federal fiscal policy is still an area of uncertainty uh, that's reflected in a more moderate growth. But the growth is continuing, and we do expect the rate of growth to accelerate in FY15. The Massachusetts Taxpayers Foundation cautions that the projected rise in revenue is less than in previous economic recoveries that saw 6 to 7 percent in growth. They say most of the money will be quickly absorbed by current spending obligations. Uh, one looks at things like debt service, pensions, Medicaid, other built-in obligations consume a lion's share of that $1.1 billion in additional spending, if you will. Commissioner Pitter says Massachusetts is also currently running a surplus in tax collections of about $300 million. She says it will likely decrease to about $100 million by the year's end, in part because of a recent income tax rate reduction. Over the next few weeks, state budget hearings will be held across the state in preparation for Governor DeWalt Patrick's 2015 state budget proposal that will be released in late January. Live at the State House, Christine Lee, 22 News.